There's a real buzz around the South African athletes who are in London for the World Championships. The 27-member team includes world and Olympic champions, as well as some exciting talent on the sprinting front. But their efforts of late have been overshadowed by Athletic South Africa's stringent qualifying standards. You can set the standards. You select the team. It's your prerogative. But I think we should be careful. They might be going into it with good intentions. They're trying to lift the standards of South African athletics. But it could end up hurting South African athletics. When we're leaving a close to 14 athletes at home in South Africa because of tougher qualifying standards that we've set. The team returned from the Olympics with 10 medals, their objective at the time. In London, their target isn't quite the same, but the pressure is on to return with a decent medal count. We obviously have a world champion, a defending world champion going to the, to the championships and a world record holder in, in, in Wade Van Eken. We've got a, an unbeatable Casa Semenya, who's an Olympic champion going into the world championships. And then we've got Luva Manyonga, who's been absolutely dominating the long jump events um, throughout the, the year, you know, since winning that silver medal at, in Rio Olympic Games. All eyes will be on Wade van Eekert, who captured the imagination of the world in Rio. His focus will be on completing the red double, but he won't be alone in his quest for glory as Semenya and Sambine attempt to carve their names into the athletics history books. You know, Wade van Eekert is doubling, and I think that's possibly going to be the most exciting part of the of the World Championships. It's it's all the doubles that we have, especially from a South African point of view. So we've got Wade van Eekerk in the, the 200, 400 double. We've got Akani Sambini in the 100, 200. Um, and then we've got Karsten in the 800, 1500. Despite the controversy surrounding team selection and qualifying standards, Team South Africa head into the World Championships brimming with confidence. They know potentially they can get eight medals and should they do so, they'll comfortably surpass the previous best medal haul from 2003. CS2 Plus C, CGTN, Pretoria.